parish to me is very special because of the energy. Now that's our home. This is our home. It is just alive with faith and service. You know, we just feel very blessed to be part of such a, an amazing community. At St. Gerard Magella Catholic Church, the peace of the Lord be with you always. We are blessed. Blessed by our faith. Blessed by our campus. St. Gerard Magella Parish is a wonderful place to grow up. It's a wonderful place to celebrate God's love. A spiritual home for more than 1,400 families and more than 647 students in school and PSR educational programs. And of the sun. A community centered on the sacraments, ministry opportunities, and fellowship. A parish that lives discipleship and cares for each other in times of need. It was April 25th, 2017. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had my double mastectomy and reconstruction on May 31st. That night before, these pews were half full of people praying the rosary for me. It's just so beautiful and so meaningful. Go out, go out to all the world. Over the decades, God has blessed us in abundance and gathered us together as a vibrant community of faith. We met in high school, so we know the advantages of learning friendship and seeing each other and faith in each other. Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. It's our 50th anniversary. When you cherish your past, you appreciate what the gifts you have. But in order to go forward, you have to strengthen those and continue to grow because it's never ending. Together, we have grown our blessings, and now we are being called to build upon them. We're standing on the shoulders of parishioners that came before us that made uh, the decision that we wanted to grow the parish, we wanted to grow the school, and it's time for us to, to step up and finish the job. Introducing Cherishing Our Past, Strengthening Our Future, a high-reaching capital campaign that will retire our parish debt and lay a solid, secure foundation for our tomorrows. It was very important for us to do what we did 10 years ago to really capitalize on just the positive momentum of what is happening in our parish and especially in our school. Essentially, we're finishing out that chapter of our parish and, and bridging into the next future chapter of our parish. By joining together in generosity, we can pay off lingering debt from 2009's Building Fellowship and Faith Campaign a transformative effort that allowed us to add 16 new classrooms, a dining facility and narthex addition to the church, an adoration chapel, and more meeting space. The debt uh, that we incurred to um, do the last capital campaign took us to a new place as a parish. Our loan does not allow us to move forward, and it's time for everybody to kind of come together and say, let's get that behind us and to finish off that last 10 years and bring the new vision and new hope. We will be a stronger parish if we are debt free. With this campaign, we will become a more secure parish as well, funding security enhancements campus-wide. This day and age, it's really important also to make sure um, that everyone's safe at Mass and safe at, at school, and this kind of campaign will allow us to keep our facilities at the cutting edge of security. Lift up your heart. Cherishing our past, strengthening our future, also means addressing our church's most pressing renovation needs. Switching to energy efficient LED lighting, repainting, laying new carpeting, and repairing our pews and kneelers. You know, as I look up right now, I see there's six, seven, eight lights out. It seems like as fast as we replace them, they go out. Some of the canisters themselves are, um, have gotten so hot that they no longer will operate. Some of our facilities are 30 plus years old now and you know things need to be refurbished, things need to be updated. It's part of, of running again like a world-class facility is to keep upgrading and keeping up with with the latest trends. It's the evolution of the living breathing church. An evolution that includes centering the crucifix on the altar. Christ is the center of our lives and having him be the center of the altar all makes sense. The choir area is also set for renovation. Our choir is uh, one of our great blessings here at the 10 o'clock Mass. The choir is getting a little bit too large for their, their space over there, which is a good problem. A lot of folks are interested in, in offering their gifts and their talents to the praise of God here in, in Holy Mass. And so some work in the choir area to 
provide for some, some more seating and just for some more uh, practical ability. Everybody's going to look at what we've done to the choir area and be amazed at not just how it looks, but how, how much better the choir sounds. Finally, a successful campaign will let us install new HVAC equipment in the church, enhancing comfort as we worship. Most of the time it's freezing in here, and I think it's just because it takes so long to power up. And so, you know, I do see some of the sweet older ladies, you know, shivering or, you know, they'll put their sweaters on. And so I think that's very important to get it up to speed. It's investment that we need to make in keeping our church and school modernized and comfortable and a beautiful place to come do the beautiful thing of worshiping uh, God, of being in God's presence, of experiencing the sacraments. I feel compelled to give so that this church, where we can come together as the St. Gerard Magella community and experience those things in an environment that demonstrates our love for God and, and a place where we get to experience His love for us. Cherishing our past, strengthening our future. Together, we will honor the sacrifices that built this vibrant faith community and do our part to secure its future. It's our responsibility to leave it in a better place for the next generation that will continue to use this facility for many years to come. We invite every family at St. Gerard's to invest in this campaign and pray for its success, another landmark opportunity in the life of our parish. It's sort of exciting to be part of it, just to see what's, what the benefits are over the next 5 to 10, 20 years, what's going to come about of all this. Lift up your hearts. I think it's important for everybody to participate. It makes our parish community stronger. It makes our parish family stronger. It's not all about us. It's about everyone else who's coming after us, and it's about our kids becoming us when they're the parishioners later on. Is this parish your home? Is this the, is this the place that you come to meet friends and to make new people? And is it welcoming? And if you can say yes to those things, then whatever you contribute will make a difference. In my mind, this is an opportunity for us to really come together as a parish for a renewed solidarity, a renewal of the vibrancy and the energy of our parish. And so to me, I would love to see every family of our parish participate in some way in this campaign. As the Lord teaches us, sacrifice is the greatest testament of love. You know, and I think if we can think of our gifts to this campaign as a testament of our love for this parish, which is home for all of us, that will help us to know what it is that we're being called by God to, to contribute and to give to make what we're proposing a reality. St. Gerard Magella Catholic Church, a vibrant community of faith, a family, cherishing our past, strengthening our future.